you love cookies. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. It's me, Tasty. And today, guys, we have 100 hacks and secrets in Brookhaven to show you guys. And this first one is, like, so crazy. You see, I almost didn't want to tell you about it because I felt like you might not want to do it. Why? Are we going to get in trouble in Roblox? Well, um, so every time I tested this hack before we started making this video, I kept getting disconnected from the game. I think it might actually ban us. What? Ban us? Are you crazy? Maddie, do you think we should do this? I don't know. Guys, I'm doing this. I want to show you guys um, what's going to happen when we keep doing this hack and we get disconnected. Because I don't even know myself. So the first thing we need to do is go down and get this new, like, government science lab thing. Wait, what? A new science lab? <gasps> Ooh. Daisy, this has been around for a little bit now. Have you just been doing homework, like, with your entire life? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm drooling over this science lab. Look at it. <gasps> Big goals for my adulthood. <laughs> Guys, next I'm going to spawn this adorable little car right here. And get in, Daisy. Molly, I can't get in. There's a baby there. Oh, well, I guess you're going to have to run in the back. But, but, okay, fine. Hey, baby safety comes first. Well, then you should definitely not be driving. Hey, I don't think I'm that bad of a driver. Look at me. Yeah, look at you running into the wall. Good thing that there's not actual, like, military people guarding us. You'd be kicked out in no time. Molly, this is taking forever. Let me drive, Poggy! Okay, my sister wants to drive because she thinks I'm a bad driver. And, well, she may have a little bit of a point. <laughs> Just a little one. Molly, climb on the back. Okay, I did. Wow, Daisy, you're really making me look bad with driving through those doors on the first try. Well, I'm an awesome driver. I have to be. My son is in here. Oh, very funny. All right, guys. So, now what you want to do is um go into the surgical testing room guys look at this in here this is crazy if you touch this like these buttons look at all this crazy stuff it does but we're looking for one that we definitely want to use and that is this giant like water water tornado guys you can swim all the way up look at this oh <laughs> look at this oh my god that's so cool all right guys so what i want to do is float my little purple car. Whoa, I'm sw look at, I was swimming like outside of it. That was weird. All right, I want to float my purple car in this water. But every time I've tried it, the game has disconnected me. So I don't know what's going to happen. We better not get banned, Molly. I love Brookhaven. Guys, we're going to test this for you. We don't know what's going to happen. All right, Daisy, back up and floor it. Here we go, guys. Oh my god, she's floating in the water! What? We got disconnected again? OMG, Molly. This is definitely a hack that Brookhaven does not want you to do. Uh, yeah, but it was cool. We floated our car in the water. That was amazing. I know, but if it's disconnecting you every time, it's a bad idea, Molly. Don't click reconnect. I'm clicking reconnect because, guys... I want to see what happens if you do this a bunch of times. All right, guys, here's the second try. We're back down into the science lab here with our car. It only took Daisy like five tries to get down here. What? Okay, yeah, it did. It's kind of a tight space. All right, so she's going to try it from this angle now, and we're going to see if we get disconnected again. Oh, <laughs> Daisy! Oh, my gosh. We keep getting disconnected. This is bad, Molly. I, I don't think we should do it. I I think we should do it a third time because I'm feeling like it's just going to disconnect us. It's not going to actually ban us or anything. This time, when Daisy floats the car in the water, she's going to jump out and try swimming. And we're going to see if the car <laughs> still stays up there and if we get disconnected. Okay, Molly, here goes nothing. All right, guys. Daisy, did you get out? Oh, my God. Daisy got out. And that time, we didn't get disconnected. Whoa. Oh, wait, Molly, let's try it again. I don't think you can swim, like, swim in it, though. Once you jump out, the car just falls. Yeah, I think so, Molly, but let's try to float the car for at least five seconds. Yeah, let's do this. It does nothing. Okay, 
Yeah, float it not in the water. Let's just like float it in the water. I'm trying, Miss Peaky. It's not like this is the easiest hack in the world. It's a very small space to drive your car around in, Molly. Can you imagine if this was real life and you were like ruining your car to float it in the water? That'd be a very bad idea. All right, guys, I kind of want to see what it looks like from above when she floats the car. So I'm just going to go up here and we can take a look and see. Okay, guys? All right, Daisy, we're ready when you are. Let's see if we can see Daisy. Okay, Daisy, I don't really see you. Yeah, um, no, you do, Molly, you do. <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, I was sort of like swimming up there. Oh, man, now you're stuck, aren't you, Daisy? Um, nope, I'm not stuck. I'm just floating. Ah! Molly. They really do not want you to do this hack in Brookhaven. We should stop now before someone bans us. Bench man. -la 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 I'm doing it again, and I'm going to see if I can float the car for five seconds or longer. This time I'm going to ride in the back. Here we go, guys. So let's do this. <laughs> Whoa. It glitched me up into the ceiling. All right, let's try again. Oh, my God, guys. That is so cool. I cannot believe this. This is amazing. We're like floating in the water. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Wait. What? Molly, it says we've been banned for 24 hours. Wait, no. This can't be right. We're Roblox video stars. I don't think they care, Molly. It says we've been banned. Oh. M. G. That's so cool. And also, not so cool. Guys, I can't believe we actually found a hack. That would get us banned in Brookhaven. Make sure you watch these next videos to watch 99 other hacks and secrets we found in Roblox. All right, guys. I guess we'll see you in 24 hours. Yeah. I guess you got to do your homework, Molly. Not a chance. <laughs>Mrs. Bach, <laughs> yes, I know that you're this neighbor down the street and that we never talk to each other. Wait, what? You have an emergency out of town? Yes, sure. They're all in the same grade together. Of course she can come spend the night with us. No problem. Bye. Molly, you've been playing Roblox for like 30 minutes. It's my turn. I know, but I've already won this part. I just, I need to get to this next level. But you said after you won that part, I could play. I know, I know, but I'm not one for sharing. Ma Molly, I'm going to tell Mom. Well, you can play on your phone. Yeah, but it's easier to play this game on the computer. Girls, girls. Mom, sorry, but we're kind of busy. We're playing Roblox. Correction, Molly's playing Roblox while I sit here and watch her. Oh, well, never mind all that. You have a friend downstairs that's going to be spending the night. What? Is it Brookie? No, but I think you're going to have so much fun. Come on downstairs. A new student? At school maybe or something like that? Maybe, Molly, but it seems like Mom's really excited to have her spend the night with us. Whoopsie. <laughs> Silly Brookhaven. You totally can spawn stuff inside <laughs> the, the elevator. Whoopsie. Molly, you spawned a giant gaming computer desk in the elevator. Yes, but thankfully this is Brookhaven, so we can just jump over the side. Whee! What? Sarah? Hello. <laughs> Looks like I'm spending the night with you losers. Um, Mom, no, this is a joke, right? No, no, no. Mrs. Bach called. She had to go out of town in an emergency, so Sarah's spending the night with us tonight. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so lame. Yeah, uh, maybe you could sleep on the couch. What? <laughs> Don't be silly. She can sleep up in your room. I'll go get the sleeping bag. Mom! Oh, I don't like this either, losers. You better not tell anybody at school I spend the night at such losers' houses. Um, well, um, yeah, we're not losers, and if you're not nicer to us, you can sleep out on the porch. <laughs> Daisy, harsh. I don't think so. Also, one of you will be letting me sleep in your bed. I don't sleep in sleeping bags. Well, uh, it's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be me either, Root. This is my bed. You don't get to sleep in it. 
I can't believe my mom actually invited Sarah the bully over here. Well, it's not like she had much of a choice, Molly. Her mom had an emergency. She had someone to sl she had to have someone to sleep. She could have slept, I don't know, in the dumpster downtown. Wow, Molly. Hush. <laughs> yeah, well, she's harsh to me every single day. She's so annoying at school. Well, I can't say I don't agree with you, Molly, because I do. All right, I'm just going to go back to playing Roblox. I can't deal with this right now. I'd rather watch you play Roblox than deal with Sarah. Are you losers playing that need more sleep game? Oh, you're such a noob. Well, do you have a better game on Roblox? Yeah, but you can't be a chicken. <laughs> I'm not a chicken. I'm not afraid of anything. Well then, how about a game that you can never leave? <laughs> what do you mean never leave it? Like I can't even go to the kitchen to like get a snack or go potty or anything? Correct. If you're that brave, then you should try that game. Don't listen to her, Molly. She's just a bully. She's trying to get us in trouble. I'm not afraid of anything. Molly, don't take this deal. I'll make you a deal. If you play this game and you manage to get out of it, I won't sleep in your room. I'll sleep downstairs on the couch or whatever. Deal. Molly. Uh, both of you have to agree because I could just sleep in Daisy's bed then if she's not going to play. Fine, I'll play too. What's the game called? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. You guys are never going to leave Roblox. Really? Watch me. Wait, this is the game? Giant Rainbow Friends survive Rainbow Friends? That's right. Do you think you can actually get out of here? Uh, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's that scary or anything. Yeah, but the scary part is, is you can never leave. <laughs> Molly, what if this hacks our account or gets us banned from Roblox? Well, the alternative is that Sarah's going to sleep in our room. She's probably going to drool on my pillow. Ew. We have to do this, Daisy. We have no other choice. Well, so far this doesn't seem so bad. Daisy, are you in the game yet? I'm coming, Molly. Oh, baby gamer. Oh, he looks like a bacon hair. He's not really a baby. All right, guys, this looks just like Brookhaven. Yeah, it does, Molly. Um, but something tells me, um, this isn't gonna be anything like Brookhaven. Oh, look, there's Mommy Longlegs. What does it say at the top? What? Something's been hacked? System cor corrupted? Jenna something? Oh my god, Molly. This was such a bad idea. Alright, um, let's go see if we can, like, I don't know, do some stuff in this game first. Oh, what? What's that say? Warning? Danger? Is this lava? Or, like, blood or something? I don't know. I'm swimming in it. Everything seems just fine. Alright, guys. So, should I try to leave this game? Well, let's take a look around and see what there is to do first. Join the group Bad Devs Good Games to not get hacked? Oh, great! Sarah totally talked us into getting hacked! Ugh, she's such a bully! This game is so lame. I totally can leave. Watch this. Leaving! <laughs> Wait. What? Oh my god, it just spawned me right back into the game. All right, I'm trying this again. OMG! Daisy! Molly! Oh my god, I think we just got hacked. Okay, I'm just going to click here. Oh my god, we can't get out. All right, let's just do something that maybe like would kill us in the game so that we could like try to get out of here. I don't know what, Molly. I mean, what are we going to actually do that would get us out? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe if we jump off a really tall building or something. <laughs> like fall down the hill. No, Molly, you can't die in Bookhaven. We just, we're just hacked now. All right, let's just try it one more time. I think everything should be... Well, ah! I can't even click on it now, guys. OMG. OMG. 
Oh my gosh, we're back in regular Brookhaven. Molly, how'd you do that? Well, basically, I had to restart my entire computer, and it better not be hacked now, Sarah. <laughs> you losers are just that. Uh, Sarah, you don't have a face. Uh, maybe your account was hacked too. What? It's because I'm with you guys in your private server in Brookhaven. Um, Sarah, seriously, your face is missing. Ah, that's really creepy. <laughs> I guess this idea backfired on you, Sarah, didn't it? Hey, wait a minute. Why do all these computers keep spawning? I don't know. My Roblox character doesn't even have a face. Molly, something weird is going on. Um, there's so many computers in this room right now. I think we may have gotten all hacked. Oh, my God. Sarah, this is such a dumb thing for you to say is for us to do. Now look at this place. It's, it's a wreck. Okay, well, there's a way to remove the props. I'm going to go down and see if I can remove them. Sarah, you are the worst bully ever. Okay, I'm going to get rid of those props now. What? What happened to the house? I don't know. I still don't even have a face. Molly, a house in Bookhaven is missing. Uh-oh. Okay, we definitely got hacked. This is so annoying. Molly, that means anybody can be on our account. They can make YouTube videos. They can do anything. What? This is terrible. Okay, this is the vacant lot that I always put our house on. And, guys, I'm clicking it over and over and over again. And it will not let me. Try vacant lot number 16. Maybe that one's just broken. Okay, let's click on this one and see what happens. Uh, no, it still will not let me. Sarah, oh, you're going to pay for this. I'm already paying for it. Look at me. I don't even have a face right now. And I have to stick around with you losers. Uh, Molly, where is it going day to night? Night to day, day to night, night to day. I don't know. Let's try to get out of this game again. Seems like this isn't the regular Brookhaven at all. It won't even let, let me select to leave. You guys try to. Molly, just turn off your computer. I'm afraid that if I go anywhere, the hackers are just going to, like, destroy my account. Because can you imagine if me and Molly didn't have any accounts at Roblox? Uh -oh. oh, that would be the worst. I think it would be great. I'm so sick of you guys. We're sick of you, Sarah. Uh, Daisy, are you changing the parameters on this game? No, Molly, I haven't touched anything. I'm just standing here. OMG, someone is totally messing with us. Molly, are we the only ones on this silver? Yeah, why? Because look, there's a motorcycle. I didn't spawn that. Neither did I. What is this? I didn't spawn any of these things, but now I'm like stuck inside this giant tank. OMG, where are all these cars spawning from? The heckle, Molly, the heckle. Seriously, they spawned a horse? Okay, yeah, that one's kind of funny. Not funny if we lose our account, though. Uh, Molly, what's going on with your face? What? what what's going on with my face? Head your hair. It's missing. What? They're changing my avatar? No! Uh, Molly? <laughs> they put you in a baby onesie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very funny. Ugh, whatever. For some reason, I just keep shrinking. But, wait. Why is my avatar size getting bigger? OMG! We've all been hacked because of you, Sarah! All right. Yeah, this is probably, like, a really bad thing to do. You think? Guys, I don't know what we're going to do. It just seems like um, all of our accounts have been hacked. And I, I don't know. Like, will we ever make a YouTube video again? I don't know. We're going to have to contact Roblox and tell them our account's been hacked. Now I'm doing a weird dance and I'm not doing that with my keyboard, Molly. OMG. It's like they're in charge of our computer or something right now. What are we doing? Get up. I can't. I'm like laying on the ground. I don't know why. Well, maybe you'll finally be able to get out of this game. No, I think I'm just stuck like this forever now. Oh, getting hacked is terrible. Oh, wait, no, I'm back. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's just try to get out of this game one last time. If not, we're going to just have to turn off the computer. Okay, here we go.
OMG, every time I try to leave, it won't let me. Okay, guys, I'm turning off my computer now. You may never hear from us ever again. on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Ugh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend! Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine! I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully. Aww. Okay, class. Um, everybody, come on in. Come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Oh, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange, yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh, my gosh. Now she's picking on my fashion sense, too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over, quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter. I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean. My BFF is Sarah. At least she's honest. Oh my gosh. Rookie. Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend, too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, 
I'm having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I give you a hug and it make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel okay. It made me feel a little bit better, but but I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says, Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't, you can't not have a pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my God. Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look, it's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh, oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm... I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. Well, I guess I should go home and do all that homework. Ugh. I just wish my day would get better. I lost my best friend. Rookie? What are you doing here? Hi, Molly. Um, uh, I brought a pizza. Why'd you bring a pizza? I thought you don't want to be my friend anymore. Wait, what? I never said I didn't want to be your friend anymore. Really? What's this letter say then? Huh? Huh? What? I didn't write that letter. Wait a minute. Did Sarah write this letter? Maybe. Why have you been hanging out with her then? You know she's a bully and I told you yesterday she was so mean to me. I was even crying on the phone and everything. I just thought if I was friends with Sarah, maybe maybe since she doesn't have any friends, it would change her heart to good. She wouldn't be a bully anymore. Really? That's what you were trying to do? thought if I won her over and was friendly to her, she wouldn't be mean to my BFF anymore. I hate to see you in pain, Molly. You were doing this all for me? <laughs> it really didn't seem that way. Sorry, Molly. I realized that the only person that can change Sarah is, well, Sarah. And it seems like she doesn't really want to change, so... <sighs> I told her we can't be friends until she starts being nice again. Wow. That's pretty amazing, Brookie. Thanks for sticking up for me like that. Is it okay if I come in? This pizza is getting really hot on my fingers. Oh, yeah! Sorry! Come on in! And uh, bring the pizza. I'm starving. <laughs> holy guacamole! I mean, holy pizza! This is delicious! I got it just for you, Molly, with my allowance. Oh, thanks, Brookie. You didn't have to do that. Sure I did. Ooh, something smells delicious. Glad to see you guys made up. So why didn't you respond to my text, Molly? I didn't even read it. Well, maybe I should read it now. Seems like you guys are BFFs again. Um, okay. Molly, I love you. You're my best friend. I'm sorry if you're hurting. Please talk to me so that I can help make it better. Oh, Brookie, it was seriously nice of you. Mm. But the nicest thing you've ever done is bring me pizza. <laughs> oh, Molly, I'll be your BFF until I'm old and gray. And I'll be yours, Brookie, and I'll be yours. Oh my God, I'm late for school again. I'm late for school again. This is so bad, <laughs> so bad. And that's why you're a total loser, Daisy. I'm not a loser. Stop saying that, Sarah. You're so rude. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Are you bullying my sister again? 
Um, no, I'm just telling her how it is. She's such a loser. Don't say that about my sister or else. Or else what? Ugh, whatever, you're both such losers. Sarah, get out of here. Go, get out of here. Go, go. That's okay. You kind of smell anyway. Wait, what? I do? Do I smell Daisy? Um, well, maybe a little. You did run to school. <laughs> oh, man. I think I have some deodorant in my locker. Molly, Sarah is so rude. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, I wish she could stop being a bully for just one day. Well, maybe maybe she would if she just had some real friends. Yeah, right. Doubt it. Well, we better get to class. Hey, Sarah. Um, you look really pretty today. Don't even talk to me, Tommy. Ugh, you're such a nerd. Hey, don't be mean to Tommy. He's super cool. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Molly. <laughs> uh, Sarah, I was wondering if maybe you, uh... Oh, my gosh. I think Tommy's going to ask Sarah to the dance. <laughs> Good luck with that. She's rude. What do you want? Like, seriously, you're starting to annoy me. Um, I was wondering, uh, I think you're really pretty and, um, well, kind of nice. And I was wondering, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? <laughs> uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna go so good. <laughs> Are you laughing because you're so excited about going to the dance with me? No, I'm laughing that you'd ever think I'd go to the dance with you. <laughs> you're such a nerd and I'm popular, like I'm a cheerleader. Pfft, you're not even supposed to be talking to me. Goodbye. Whoa, um, that was not nice, Sarah. Oh my god, I'm humiliated! Tommy, what's going on? Oh boy, I better get into class and see see what the drama is now. What's going on, Molly? Well, Tommy decided to ask Sarah to the dance. What? Seriously? Uh, she's kind of out of his league. Well, must be he didn't get the memo on that one. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 minus 11. Oh, school's already making my brain hurt. When's lunch? <laughs> oh, I'm so humiliated. Well, Tommy, the good news is it's lunchtime. I don't want lunch. I don't want anything. Oh, I need to go to a different school. Don't worry, Tommy. Sarah's mean to everybody. She's probably going to go to the dance alone because who would want to go with such a bully like her? Probably the star football player will go with her. She's so beautiful and the cheerleader and... Well, she might be beautiful, uh... But not on the inside because, man, she is ugly on the inside. She's rude and mean and a bully. Now, come on, Tommy. Let's go have lunch. I'm starving. Yeah, maybe later, Molly. Give me that cheeseburger. It looks delicious. Not a chance, Sarah. It's mine. I'm starving and I want that cheeseburger now. Sarah, no. Sarah, could you just stop being a bully for five seconds of your life? I'm not a bully. I just tell it how it is. Uh, yeah, and we also call that a bully. B-U-L-L-I-E. Buddy, that's not how you spell bully. Ugh, you're such a loser. You don't even know how to spell bully. Yeah, it's B-U-L-L-I-E, right? Ay, ay, yeah, yeah. you need to pay attention in class more often. How do you spell it? B-U-L-L-Y. Oh, yeah, and if it's plural, it's B-U-L-L-I-E-S. <laughs> My mistake. Oh, I'm so sick of Sarah's bullying. Tell me about it, Molly. Well, I don't know what there is to do about it, but I think some pizza will help me. Mmm, delicious. Maybe we're just not seeing things from Sarah's perspective. Sarah's perspective? Pfft, who cares about that? I'm just saying, Molly. Mmm, this Coke is good. Maybe she has a reason that she is the way she is, and we don't know because we're not in her shoes. Of course we're not in her shoes. She has much bigger feet than I do. And they probably stink like rotten cheese. Ma Molly, no. It's a figure of speech. Um, being in someone else's shoes means you live their life. You don't live their life, so you don't know what it's like to live their life. Huh, what? Can't hear you over the chewing of my pizza. Molly! Okay, fine, what? Just saying, unless we live our life, we don't know why. Whoa, that gave me a great idea. Oh no, she has an idea. This can't be good. Spellbook, spellbook, spellbook. No, not the spellbook. Maddie, not the spellbook. Okay, let's see. I have Newt. Ew, I have Newt. Gross. What are you doing, Molly? I'm switching lives with Sarah for the day. What? 
Why? Well, because you said I had to see what it's like to be in her shoes. And she's going to see what it's like to be in mine. Here's the spell. Okay, just got to go find Sarah. Molly, I don't think this is such a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to be there for practice. Yeah, no, we can get pizza after practice. Uh-huh. What do you want, loser? What are you doing? Spell book? What, what's this about? Ugh, you're so annoying. Alakazi! Alakadu! I'm gonna trade my life with you! What? What's happening to me? What's happening to me? Whoa, this feels kind of weird. <laughs> I'm starving. I need to go have some lunch, and I'm probably gonna share it with everyone I know. Why is she so friendly? She's so annoying. What a loser. Ugh. Let me go see if I can bully somebody for their lunch. Wait, why am I going this way? Gosh, school is so annoying and so big. You never figure out where I'm going half the time. Oh, hey, Malia. <laughs> I got a pizza to share. Uh, I don't plan on sharing it with you. You can just give it to me. Wait, what? Why? Oh, hi, guys. Oh, I'm so embarrassed around you, Sarah. Why? Why are you embarrassed? Ah, uh, because he's a loser and you're not? Bully? That, that wasn't very nice. What's wrong with you? I don't know. She's been a bully all day. Uh, wait, what? Are you talking to me, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> You're super nice. Oh, does that mean you changed your mind about going to the dance with me? Yeah, I'll go to the dance with you. Huh, what do you know? A loser gets to go with the cheerleader. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. Whoa, Molly, you look clumpy. <gasps> Did the spell work? What spell? Get away from me. You're such a loser. Molly, I'm your sister. What do you mean I'm a loser? Where's your lunch money? Give it to me. Molly, oh my God, you are a bully. <gasps> that means Sarah was super nice. I gotta go see this. Hey, get back here. I'm Give me your lunch. Give me your lunch money, one or the other. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hey, Daisy, you want some of this pizza that I bought? It's delicious. And also, I've decided to go to the dance with Tommy. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Molly, your spell is amazing. What is she talking about spell? There's no spell. Ugh, you guys leave me the pizza and all your money and get out of here. Oh, Molly, I don't know when you turned into a bully, but it kind of stinks. I don't like it. I don't like any of you. <laughs> Ew, Molly, did you just fart? Yeah, and that's what I think of you when you eat all the pizza and don't give me any. Um, we said we'd give you some, Molly. I don't want any of your stinky pizza. It's not us that's stinky, Molly. Take a look in the mirror. I don't like anybody at this school. I don't like any any of the subjects. I don't like any of it. Just want to go home and like hang out. Maybe play a video game or something. Ooh, what's this? Doritos? Not even Doritos can make me happy. Okay. They can make me, like, a little happy. Mm. Molly, um, try to think back to what you did before you became, well, this Molly. Uh, okay. I guess I can. I'm not really sure why you're interrupting me while I'm eating my Doritos. Um, you were reading a spell book, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Did I cast a spell? Yeah, and I was wondering how long it's going to last. I really don't like you right now. I don't really like you either. Rude. Wait, the spell I cast, I can't remember what it was, but it said it lasts 15 minutes. Oh, good. We have 14 minutes and 39 seconds. Should be any minute now. I have to go bully some people. Get away from me, loser. Oh, no. Here comes Molly again. I'm so confused. First you were a bully, and now you're nice, and now she's a bully, and I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Wow, this was you two go. What are you talking about? Why are you losers sitting next to me? Get away from me, Tommy. You smell like a taco. Oh, <laughs> I had tacos for lunch. Uh, would you like some? You know, I, I could make tacos even before the school dance. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, are you going to go to the school dance? No, not. Well, yeah, I'm going to go, but like not around any of you guys. Wait, but you said you were going to go to the school dance with me. Wait, I. Oh, my God. Why did I say that? No, I'm not going with a nerd. Um, too late. I already bought your corsage and my tuxedo, so you have to go with me. 
Oh my god, this is horrible! Oh! So Molly, what did you learn about walking a mile in Sarah the Bully's shoes? I learned that her shoes are stinky and they hurt my feet. Really, Molly, that's it? No, I just learned that she's grumpy and I have no idea why. She's a bully! Well, I'm sure she has a good reason and, um, I want her to be your friend. Well, Tommy, good luck to you. Good luck! actually slept in later than me on a school day? Mom? Mom, are you okay? Are you sick? <coughs> oh, what? Wait, what time is it? Mom, it's 7.23. What? Oh my gosh, I overslept. Oh, baby Kira got up like three times in the night and, and I'm just so tired. And Mom, it's okay, but um, we probably need to go through the drive-thru for breakfast. Sounds good to me. McDonald's eggy cheesy sandwiches for everyone? Wow. Yep, totally, Mom. Okay, let me just um grab some clothes. I'll be right down there. Is your baby sister up? Yeah, she's already watching TV with um Daisy. They're probably watching cartoons or something. All right, I'll be down in like five seconds. No problem, Mom. I mean, we could just stay home from school today if you want. Molly, look at this. They're talking about something crazy going about booking. <gasps> Why are you watching the news? It interrupted the cartoons we were watching. Thanks so much, Bruce. It's me, Brittany, your Brookhaven news source. And today we are learning about a new illness that's going around Brookhaven. Uh, medical professionals say that it's really not any worse than the common cold. And if everyone washes their hands, you should be fine. Nobody panic, please. Just wash your hands. Back to you, Bruce. Yeah, yeah, just jumping around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby Kara, you have so much energy. See, Daisy, there's nothing to worry about. They just said it's like the common cold. Wash your hands, you should be fine. I jump around a lot. I like to jump. Aww. Okay, girls, come on. We're gonna be late for school. Come on, come on, come on. Get in the car, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, Mom, we're going, we're going. We're still stopping McDonald's though, right? Uh, yeah, of course. I need coffee. Lots of it. I want Happy Meal. Sorry, baby Kira. They don't serve Happy Meals at 8 a.m. What? I don't like McDonald's. Why do you not have Happy Meals in the morning? Because they don't. You can only have them for lunch or dinner. You have to have an eggy cheesy sandwich. I want to. Okay, we don't have time to argue, girls. Come on. Everybody in the car. Coming, Mom. I can't believe I overslept. It's okay, Mom. I'm not in any hurry to get to school. <laughs> I bet you aren't, Molly. But I don't want you to be late and get detention. Oh man, the drive-through line is so long. Oh, what? There's a there's a tourist bus? Oh, they're probably all inside right now. Why are they parked in the drive-through? Because there was nowhere else in the parking lot that they could fit in, Mom. Ugh, there's like three cars ahead of us in the drive-through, and there's a giant travel bus in inside. Man, this is going to take forever to get our food. You guys are going to be so late for school. Huh? I'm not really hiding, like I said. Well, I am. I've got tons of YouTube videos to make today. Wow. I need to get home and get to work. Mom, you can pull up. You're, like, so far away. I'm just giving that vacation bus a little bit of room. One time when I was driving through a drive-thru, they backed up into my bumper. Wow, yeah. That would be the worst Monday ever. It would be the Mondayest of Mondays. Besides this epic illness that's going around. Daisy, the news already said. It's just like the cold. If you just wash your hands, you'll be fine. Do you believe everything at the news? I don't. One eternity later. Welcome to McDonald's. Here's your food. <coughs> <coughs> Ew! Did she just cough on our breakfast sandwiches? Yeah, I think she did. Mom, get out of here. She's got that virus. We don't want it. Yeah, I don't want to eat someone else's germs. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, not what I'm going to feed you girls before you go to school. I'll have to dig around in my purse and see if there's any snacks. I'm so hungry. Well, I have a chocolate bar that you guys can split. Oh, that'll have to do, Mom. Bye, girls. Have a great day. Yeah, if you could call school, great. Bye, Mom. Okay, baby Kira, we're at your daycare. 
Oh, you're gonna be so having so much fun today. Your teacher told me it's bubble day. Oh, I love bubble day. Let go, mommy. Wow. Look at all the cars piled outside the emergency room. <gasps> Hello, can somebody help me? My baby, he's sick. I don't know what's wrong with him. He keeps coughing and, and I need some help. Oh, look at all these cars. I hope someone someone's available to help my baby. Please, my baby's coughing and he's sick. Oh, I don't feel so good. I wonder what this is all about. Is this that little cold that they were talking about on the news? It doesn't seem like such a little cold to me. Seems like a lot of people are getting really sick if they have to be at the hospital. Time to make some YouTube videos. What game should I play today? Weird strike, Dad? Oh, that game totally kind of creeped me out. What? Oh, this computer is such a piece of junk. I thought when I upgraded from my Packard Bell that this would be so much better. Jeez, thanks, Mac. Wait, what? Okay, it's not my computer. It's actually a warning. A severe outbreak in Brookhaven? This little cold doesn't sound like such a little cold anymore. I better check the news. Hi, citizens of Brookhaven. It's me, Brittany, your friendly newscaster. And while it seems the illness has spread a little farther throughout Brookhaven, there's still no need to panic. That's what I said. No need to panic. Just wash your hands and everything will be fine. Put a smile on your face and it's the end of days. I warned everyone this day was coming. What? What's this? What's this guy doing here? Someone get this guy out of here. People, listen to me. This is going to destroy our town, just like it did other towns in Roblox. <gasps> Stay inside, lock your doors, or leave now while you still can. Um, this guy definitely has gone totally bonkers. Don't listen to him, guys. No need to panic. Would you not believe your innocent, sweet newscaster, Brittany? Don't believe this crazy guy. All right, somebody get him out of here. Come on, turn off the news feed. He's acting crazy. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Uh, hello? Honey, it's me. Honey, have you seen this crazy stuff going on at the police station too? Yes, something really strange is going on in Brookhaven. They haven't given me even that much information. But you're a police officer. They should tell you what's going on. All we know is this virus is spreading. I think you need to go get the girls. Yeah, I agree. Then go right back home and lock the door. And don't let anybody inside. Honey, is everything okay? Can you come home? I need to stay here at the station and help out with the other police officers. But go get the girls right now. I will, honey. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Daisy, there's mom! There's mom! Oh, thank goodness! Mom! Girls, what are you doing outside the school? Um, our teacher has gone a little bit, well, bonkers. <coughs> hungry. So hungry. <coughs> Holy guacamole! She must have the virus! Yeah, but don't worry, Mom. Well, we didn't get near her. We were in the back of the classroom. All right, girls, get in the van. Come on. We need to go pick up your baby, sister. And quick. Yeah, something really crazy is going on here. I just knew this was going to happen. As a budding scientist, we see these sorts of things in our theories all the time. Wait. Where is everybody at Baby Care's daycare? Uh, maybe they evacuated. Things have gotten kind of crazy around here. OMG. Girls, we have to find her. Don't worry, Mom. We will. We'll find her. Baby Kira? She's not in any of these cribs. Um, let me look over here, Mom. Okay, no, she's not over here, Weevil. Oh my gosh, where is she? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? <laughs> Molly! <gasps> Baby Kira, are you okay? I didn't I heal because everybody was coughing and acting crazy. <coughs> Oh, it's okay, baby Kira. Come on. Mom's here, and Daisy's here, and I'm here. We're gonna get out of here now. Come on. What? A police helicopter? That can't be good. Come on, girls. Get inside. 
They're sending helicopters all over the town. Dad said to stay inside and lock the doors. Don't open them for anyone. Whoa, this is cool. Hurry up, Molly, lock the door. Okay, it's locked. We're safe, Mom. Everything's fine. Ugh. Molly, did you not eat enough lunch? Your stomach's growling. Uh, that wasn't me. What was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like it was coming from upstairs. I so wish that was your stomach, Molly. Well, it's not. Sorry to disappoint. Oh. I'll go check. I'm kind of afraid. But since I'm the only grown-up here, I guess I have to be brave. Whoever it is, just know I'm armed. Mom, you have a mop. Well, it's all I had, okay? Shh. What's that awful smell? Ew. What? What's that? <sighs> Girls, go back and get in the car. Hurry! But you just told us to come in here and lock the door. Girls, do what I say! Jeepers creepers, I wish she'd make up her mind. Hurry, right, Daisy, come on. Let's go get back in the car. Oh my gosh. I, I, I can't open the door. Molly, hurry up. Mom said to hurry. Okay, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Do you think Bob's coming? Is everything okay? I get your boy. Yeah, I get your boy. Maybe here, just put on your seatbelt. Mom, hurry. I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like it's not good. I'm coming, girls. I'm coming. Mom, what's going on? Did you find a rat up there or something? No. I found somebody infected with this virus. They were like, totally like a, like a, this is going to sound crazy, but like a zombie. You have to leave town. And I need to call your dad and tell him to hurry and meet us at the border. What? No answer? What's happening? I don't know, Daisy, but mom can't get a hold of dad. He'd want me to just take you guys somewhere else to a new town. We're going to Blacksburg. Mom, do you need directions? Of course I do. I don't even, I don't live in Blacksburg. I don't know how to get there. Okay, just. GPS and everything will be fine. Mom, um, I don't want to live in Blacksburg. Well, do you want to live where there's a zombie apocalypse? Not particularly. Exactly my point. What? There's some sort of police installation blocking the way out of Brookhaven. <gasps> oh my gosh. Why? I don't know. They want to keep us here. But the bigger question is, who put up this police tape? It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I did. Oh, that explains a lot. No one's allowed to cross over this border. If you live in Brookhaven, you're stuck here. <laughs> what? But, but there's a virus in... And you might have it. So no can do. Mom, um, he's not really looking at us. Yes, I am. No, no you're not. I am looking at you. Okay, I can't really tell. But what I'm saying is, is that... I don't think so. There's probably more cops inside there. Uh -oh. Is that a person they have trapped back there? Wait, there's more than one. Hey, you're not supposed to cross police line. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hungry. So hungry. Oh, well, it's a good thing for you that I packed some pizza in my backpack. It may be a little smushed, but uh, it's still tasty. And you really look hungry, so I want you to have it. Ew. That smells gross, but your brain smells delicious. Ah! What? My brain? That's why I said don't cross police lines. Oh my gosh, mom. This wasn't the common cold. This is a giant apocalypse. Oh God, Molly, go get in the car, quick. Mom, where are we gonna go? Well, I think this place out in the forest with an abandoned little cottage. I'm sure that no one's out there. My mom and dad used to take me there when I was camping, when we were camping as kids. And I don't think anybody knows about it but me and your dad. I hope we're safe there. Dad will know to meet us there. I just know it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I think that the zombies are cool. Huh. Yeah, no. Zombies are not cool. Zombies are not cool. Two minutes to curtain, two minutes.
minutes to curtain. Oh my gosh, Belly, I'm so nervous. I, I've never been on stage performing before. Daisy, it's not really a performance, it's a spelling bee. You're going to be fine. You're the smartest girl in school. I know, but I just get nervous when I'm on stage. I don't know. This could be really bad. I mean, what if I freeze? Daisy, spell freeze. F-R-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. You're not going to freeze. Like I said, you're the smartest girl in school. You've got this. You've been studying for this spelling bee for like six months. I, I just don't want to end up in summer school. Daisy, you don't go to summer school because you aren't the best at the spelling bee. If you don't win the spelling bee, you don't have to go to summer school is what I'm trying to say. I just feel like I'm going to be an ignoramus, smiley. Daisy, you're freaking out for nothing. I'm going to go out to the audience because I'm actually an ignoramus, so I can't be in this spelling bee, but you are going to shine. Shine like a diamond. Welcome, everyone, to our annual spelling bee. This year, it's going to be even more challenging than any year previously. Ah, but I know we have some really amazing contestants and someone is going home with one million Robux. Who wouldn't want that? So let's see who's going to win this spelling bee. Our first contestant is Charlotte. Charlotte earns straight A's all year round. She is such a smart girl even in the summer. She's taking tests at home given by her tutor. Say hello to Charlotte. Charlotte, I think you're going to do great in the spelling bee today. Thank you, teacher. I really hope that I win. OMG, look at all those people out there. I'm kind of nervous. I have butterflies in my tummy. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Next contestant, Daisy. Are you going to come out on the stage? Um, uh, uh. Daisy, get out there. Okay. Uh. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. Next we have Daisy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> my name is Daisy. Yep, yep, yep. Don't ask me how to spell it though right now because I'm kind of nervous. Oh, Daisy, you're going to do be, be doing fine in this competition, honey. Everything's going to be fine. Take a deep breath before you pass out on the stage. <sighs> no, not that deep of a breath because that will definitely make me pass out. Yes, just calm down, honey. Daisy is one of our star students here at Brookhaven High. She's a part of our gifted program. She does win the science fair every year. And we're excited to see how she does in this year's spelling bee. Lucy, you are our first contestant to have a word. Please spell the word supper. Supper, that's so easy. Supper, S-U-P-E-R, supper. I'm sorry, Lucy, but you spelled super, not supper. Supper is spelled S-U-P-P-E-R. So, you're eliminated. Okay, Charlotte, your word is headphones. Spell headphones, please. Headphones, H-E-A-D-P-H-O-N-E-S. Headphones. Very good. You've made it to round two, Charlotte. Daisy, you're our next contestant. I am? Um, I could just go in the back and, like, work the lighting or something for this show. Oh, she's quite funny today, isn't she, audience? <laughs> well, laugh. <laughs> Daisy, your word is Mississippi. Really? Someone had to spell supper and I get the word Mississippi? To remind everyone in the audience, our words are randomly picked and generated. It wasn't my choice, Daisy. Spell the word, please. M I S. Oh, wait, I gotta say the word. It's okay, Daisy. You didn't finish, so you can start over. Mississippi. M I S S I. I, Mississippi. Oh, Daisy, I'm so sorry, but you spelled it incorrectly. Wait, what? I can't believe it. I failed. I'm such a loser. <laughs> Daisy, it's okay. It was just one spelling bee. Mm, 
this pizza's delicious. I can't even think about anything else in my life. I just did so bad. I'm so ignoramus. Daisy, you're still super smart. Now, come on, have some pizza. You're probably starving. I, I, okay, well, I am kind of hungry. I just can't believe it. How could this happen? Daisy, you're not perfect. That's how it could happen. You can't be the smartest all the time. Your brain would explode. I can't be the smartest. I want to be. Daisy, just have some pizza and chill. Mm, this pizza is good. See, feeling better already, aren't you? You should just take it from me. Having a bad day? Eat a slice of pizza. Having an even worse day? Have a candy bar. I usually try to eat healthy, but this pizza is really good. And I'm feeling really sad right now. Yes, feel those carbs rushing into your bloodstream. Well, it is pretty good. I'm going to go get another slice. Daisy, you didn't even finish eating that one yet. I know, but I want to have one for the other hand. I'm just too hungry right now. Ugh, time for school already? Ugh. What is all this stuff? Oh my gosh, there's takeout food everywhere. Oh, that pizza does look kind of good, though. Daisy, are you out of bed yet? No, Molly, not even. Daisy, seriously, you better get out of bed. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? You don't want to be late for school. You've never been late for school, ever. Yeah, but I'm feeling kind of hungry. Holy guacamole, Daisy! Um, how late did you stay up last night? Pretty late. Did you eat all these uh, snacks and takeout? Uh, yeah, why? I'm just having a really hard time right now. I mean, I always thought I was the smartest. Who am I even? Um, Daisy, maybe you should go back to your healthy lifestyle. Uh, eat something, you know, like an apple for breakfast. Nah, I was thinking about eating one of these hot dogs. Don't they look delicious? Or maybe another slice of pizza. Mm, that's good. Yeah, floor pizza. <laughs> I'm not going to judge, Daisy, but whoa. You're eating even more than I normally do, and I eat a ton. Well, who cares, okay? This food makes me happy. Hey, Molly, good morning. Wow. Hey, Brooksters, um, what are you doing? Working out. I'm always working out in the morning because it makes me feel so healthy and good. Hey, where's Daisy? She's not sick, is she? No, she's still getting out of the car. Wait, what? Why? Did she forget her homework in there? No, it's just taking her a little longer than usual today. Why can't I get out the door? Uh, okay, maybe if I squeeze a little bit this way and a little bit... Uh, uh. Okay, finally, cheapos. I think my car shrunk overnight. Wow, that's a long walk to the door. Uh, uh, okay, gotta stop and get my breath. One hour later. Almost there. Whew, that was a lot of work. I think I need another piece of pizza. Um, Daisy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. This pizza's delicious. Even if it's leftover from last night. Um, yeah, Brookie, don't ask. What? What's the problem? The problem is, <laughs> you're a total fatty. Fatty? What? What you talking about? No, I'm not. You're still eating pizza as we speak. <gasps> um, Miss Sarah, that's rude. Don't tease Daisy. Yeah, she's just going through a rough time right now. What? Yeah, I think what your friend and your sister are saying is that they see you're fat too, but they're just too nice to say it. Ow! Are you guys serious? Why don't you say something? Um, well, it's kind of a touchy subject. Yeah, we still love you no matter what, Daisy. Uh, really, we do. OMG, are you serious right now? Everybody thinks I'm fat? Uh, oh. uh yeah, duh, because you are. What'd you do, stay up all night and eat cupcakes? Well, um... Yes, she did. Molly! Ugh, oh, whatever. <laughs> you thought you were going to get asked to the school dance. Not like that, loser. Oh my gosh, that was so rude. <laughs> Are you in here? And why does it smell like pizza? Because I'm yeah. standing over the toilet eating a slice of pizza right as we speak. Um, ew. Can you come out here, please? Yeah, what is it? 
Look, Daisy, you used to eat so healthy and exercise and are you sure this is the lifestyle you want to live? Look, I'm super into fitness and stuff. I could train you if you want. I could turn you into a fitness baddie. Really? Yeah, not all hope is lost, Daisy. Besides, do you feel your best self when you're eating junk food? No, but I don't feel like my best self anyway. I totally failed at the spelling bee. Daisy, it's okay to be imperfect. It really is. You can make mistakes, and it doesn't mean that you're not smart or worthy or amazing. Really? Yes! You're the coolest girl I know! Well, besides Molly. <laughs> but you're both super cool, and you're both my BFFs. Aww. Thanks, Pookie. Yeah, let's do this. Let's turn me from fatty to baddie. Whoa, look at those Doritos and that pizza and the Coke. All oh, those look so good. <clears throat> I don't think so, Daisy. You should eat an apple. But, but, okay, fine. Meet me after school in the gym. Wow. Oh, boy. This sounds a lot like torture. Pookie, over here, Daisy. Come on, let's pump this up. Um, no. My mother butt is walking over there. Come on, Daisy. You can do this. Show me what you're made of. Are you going to be a baddie or not? Okay, fine. I'll try it. Holy guacamole, he's so heavy. Really? Then I suggest you lift two. Oh, I can't promise I won't complain. Next exercise. Ow, this hurt. Come on, Daisy. You've got this. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, now I'd like you to run laps. Run? I can barely walk. Daisy, do you want this or not? Of course I do. Uh, uh, can I stop? No stopping, Daisy. Keep going. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Come on, girl. You can do it, do it, do it. Never give up and never surrender because you can do anything. Except for breathe. I can't breathe right now. If you put your mind to it, whoa, 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 you can do it. Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. Wow, it's been a month, Daisy, and look at you. You are doing amazing. Wow. Thank you. Yay. I got my healthy body back, my healthy mind back, and my healthy life back. So proud of you, Daisy. You've worked incredibly hard. Now, come on. Let's go take you for a special makeover. Hey there, Daisy. Oh, my gosh. Look at you. You look so fit and healthy. Yeah, I've been working out just, just a little bit. <laughs> Give yourself the credit. You've been working out a lot. And now she's been eating healthy, taking super good care of herself, meditating. Oh, my gosh. She's doing amazing. Wow. And now she needs a makeover before the school dance oh i'm your girl then go get in the chair we're gonna give you an amazing makeover so you're gonna be a baddie tonight at the school dance yeah i think it's so i just i don't know i'm gonna wear an amazing outfit i think i'm gonna do my hair i'm just i'm gonna put on some makeup i'm excited you should be oh this music is terrible do you really want to hurt me do you really want to make Ooh. me cry? So, where's that fatty? Oh, you mean the baddie? <laughs> Daisy, is that you? That's right, Sarah. I'm a total baddie now. That's right, she looks amazing. She's so healthy. Do you really want to hurt me? Boo! Boo to everyone! You can't be prettier than me. Or, or cooler. Or, or a bigger baddie than me. And this music's terrible. I'm out of here. Bye! Yeah, bye! <laughs> that was awesome. Do you really Ooh. want to make me cry? The music, though, um, well, not so much. All right, guys, tonight for your homework assignment, it's written on the board, workbook pages 25 through 40. Also, 
Do you all have a cold like I do? I caught it. I can't believe it. I never get sick. And this time, huh, I too, I caught it too. Maybe we could not do homework tonight, Mrs. S. Sorry, class. We're too close to Christmas vacation now. We need to make sure our work is done before we take our two-week break. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys get enough rest, but you still need to take your workbook home and do pages 25 through 40. I can't believe someone in this school actually gave me their germs. Gross. Mrs. S, Mrs. S, I, I have to go to the bathroom. I don't feel very good. Okay, Molly, you're excused. Just remember, don't forget your workbook. No, never, not me. I'll get it as soon as I go to the bathroom. Ugh, I feel so sick today. Ha, ha, achoo! Oh, man. Ugh. This cold that's going around school is so bad. I hope it's gone before Christmas. Probably gonna use this entire roll of toilet paper to blow my nose. Wow, I even look sick. Uh, I guess I should just go home and have some hot chocolate, maybe some soup, do my workbook homework, and then crawl into bed and watch YouTube. Oh, yeah, but I can't forget my workbook. La, 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 la. Where is it? I thought I left it on my desk. Is it underneath my desk? No. Okay, well, I guess Daisy probably put it in my backpack. She knows I often forget my homework. <laughs> oh, man, I missed the school bus, too? Ugh, now I have to walk all the way home by myself. Ugh, 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 I'm finally home. Oh, my gosh, Molly, did you miss the school bus again? Yeah, uh, and I don't feel very good, so it just... It was like the longest walk ever. Yeah, me too, Molly. Ha choo! I'm still feeling sick. I'm just gonna finish my workbook homework. I thought I could go lay down and maybe play some Roblox on my iPad. Sounds good. Just gotta get my workbook out of my backpack. Wait, where's my workbook? It's it's not in here. Daisy, did you not put my workbook in my backpack? Why would I put your workbook in your backpack? That's your responsibility, Molly. Ha Achoo! I can't be bothered to do that. I just have to get this homework done so I can go to sleep. Well, because I looked on my desk at school and it wasn't there. Well, maybe it was under your desk. No, I looked there too. Well, maybe you left it in your locker. Oh, man. I didn't think about that. Well, looks like you're going back to school. You don't want detention again. One more detention. Mom said you're grounded for life. Oh, man, I gotta walk all the way back to the school. Oh, achoo! A few hours later. Phew, I finally made it. Now I just gotta get my workbook out of my locker, and finally I can go home and relax. Achoo! Math? Spelling? Where's my English workbook? It's not here! Oh, my God, what am I gonna do? All right, I was in the bathroom. Maybe I left it in there. Which stall did I go into? Not this one. Maybe this one? No. Oh my god, where is it? <gasps> I bet the janitor picked it up. That's it. Where could he be? He's probably next to the janitor's room. <gasps> there he is. Hey, Fred. Hey, Molly. What are you doing here? Detention again? Um, no. But I was wondering, did you pick up uh, my um English workbook? It would say Molly on it. It had a bunch of hearts and stars on it. Nope, none of those. But you could check in the lost and found in the principal's office. I've got to get cleaning. See you later. Bye, Fred. Oh, boy. Well, I'll just look in the lost and found. Oh, no. The principal's office is locked. What am I going to do? Oh, no. I'm never going to get my workbook. Oh. Wait. I'll just ask Fred if he has the key. Fred. Fred. Where'd he go, man? He just, like, disappeared. I think my janitor might be part ghost. Oh, wait. There he is. Fred. Yes, Molly. I told you I couldn't find your workbook for you. Sorry, do you have the principal's um office key? What? No student is allowed in the principal's office unless called in. Well, then please go look in the lost and found box and see if my workbook is in there. All right. You kids. <coughs> oh, no. Did you catch the school cold, too? I sure did. <coughs> Everybody caught it. I just want to go home. Me, too, Fred. Me, too. Oh, no. I don't think he found it. Fred, did you find it? No luck, Molly. Oh, my God. I think my workbook's been stolen. Well, I hate to tell you this, but you're not doing your homework tonight. Oh, no. Ugh. So sick. Have to lay down now. 
Oh, hey, Molly. Did you find your workbook? No. What? You're going to get detention. At this point, I don't think I even care. I just need to lay down. My throat is so scratchy. My nose is so stuffy. And my head hurts. Ugh, I feel dizzy. Molly, you better lay down in bed right now. Bed? Who needs bed? Ugh. Molly, are you okay? Yeah, just leave me here. I'll be fine. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I guess you getting detention will be a problem for future, Molly. Yeah, exactly. The next day. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, Molly. Are you still not feeling bad? Not really. And I'm going to have to have an even longer day than yesterday. Well, according to Dr. Google, we're going to have this cold for 7 to 10 days. Oh, man. Will Mom let us stay home from school? I already asked. She said it's just a cold. Go to school if you and try and call me if you need me. She said Christmas vacation is right around the corner, so basically she doesn't want us to miss any school. Oh, man. Come on, Molly. The school bus is here, unless you want to walk again. No way. Good morning, class. I hope you're feeling at least a little better. Are you feeling better, Mrs. S? Not really. We aren't either. Well, they say the common cold takes 7 to 10 days to get over, but together I'm sure we'll conquer it. All right, guys, I want you to take out your workbook homework, please. Um, Mrs. S, I don't have my workbook. What? Why? Because, um, I, 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 I don't have it. Figures. She never does her homework. <laughs> Sarah, that's not true. I do it sometimes. Well, Molly, you don't always do it. Yeah, but this time I was going to do it. And, 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 and... Molly, I don't really feel like hearing your excuses. I'm just going to give you detention. But, but it's not my fault. I even ran back to the school when I was sick looking for it and someone stole it. What? You think someone stole your workbook? Yeah! Okay, well, I have a simple solution for this. I haven't told you kids this yet, but we did get new surveillance cameras in the entire school, so I'll just watch the feed from the camera and we'll find out if someone actually stole your workbook. I think that's a horrible idea. I didn't say that I could be filmed ever. I didn't give permission. Sorry, Sarah, but these surveillance cameras are needed. And we're about to find out what happened to Molly's workbook. Oh, I can't believe I caught the school cold. This is terrible. Well, at least I'm done grading papers. Now I can go home. Finally. I can't believe you stole Molly's workbook. Why would you do that? So she would get detention, of course. <laughs> Sarah, that is very wrong. Detention. What? I got detention? A few hours later. I can't believe I've got detention. That's not even fair. I mean, what did I do wrong? I just told Sarah that she was an ignoramus for stealing my workbook. Detention. No talking. No having fun. Sounds about right. Hey, wait a minute. Speaking of Sarah, where is she? She's she's not even in detention. This isn't fair. And where's the teacher? How is the teacher late for detention? Well, 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 Molly, we meet again. Yeah, I know. I got detention again. Molly, we really should stop meeting this way. What'd you do this time? Well, um, someone stole my workbook. Wait, what? Yeah, Sarah. She's supposed to be in detention right now. But why did you get detention? Because I yelled at her for stealing my workbook. Oh, Molly. Uh, hopefully you don't get detention over Christmas break. I actually want to go home and eat Christmas dinner with my family. I'll try not to, but no promises. <laughs> now, let me take a look at my roster and see who's supposed to be in detention. Molly, are you telling me a tall tale? Are you fibbing? Are you lying? Wait, me? What? Why? Because Sarah is not on my detention roster. What? Let me see that. What? Her, her name is scribbled out. Wait a minute. 
We need to look at the surveillance cameras. What? No, we don't. Sit down, Molly. It's your detention. Take out your homework and start working on it. No, for reals. She has a habit of sneaking in when nobody's in here and stealing and changing things. All right, Molly. I'll look at the surveillance camera. Chimney Cricket! You're right, Molly! She did scratch her name off of my roster for detention. That's okay, Molly. I'll handle this. You stay here and start your homework. Well, it looks like Sarah's gonna get detention after all. La 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 la. Remember, Molly, no talking. Oh, sorry! I can't believe that I'm in detention. Welcome to my world, Sarah. Welcome to my world. <laughs> work honey i love you i love you too have a great day with baby kira yeah she's been such a good girl lately no temper tantrums or anything wow great job baby kira I just don't want to watch TV. I just don't want to watch TV. Honey, I made you a healthy breakfast. Oatmeal with apple slices but honey i'm a cop i need to eat my donut it's just a part of my job honey <sighs> i gotta go honey i love you bye baby kira love you he never listens to me about eating healthy. Mama, I want TV now. No, sweetie, not right now. We have to go to the grocery store. I'm buying good grocery store. I want to stay here. I, I, I want to play, watch TV. I'm buying ride in the car. Sorry, baby Kara, but you do need to ride in the car because that's how we get to the grocery store. I, I, I walk there. Uh, not today, honey. That's a really... Wait, you're not allowed to leave without mama. Oh my gosh, I just got done saying to my husband that baby Kira has been temper tantrum free. But I just feel like today is going to be kind of crazy. Yeah, we can't walk there today because it's cold outside, sweetheart. So we're going to drive, okay? All right, let me just go get my purse. No, we're not skateboarding there either. Ay, 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 kids. Okay, baby Kira, I got my sweatshirt and my bag. Wait, wait, where is she? Baby Kira, this isn't funny. Baby Kira. Ugh, she wants to play hide and seek now? What? Maybe she's in going potty. No. Baby Kira, come out here this instant. Ah! Oh my god, she's on the railing. Baby Kira, get down before you get hurt, honey. I thought we I thought it was fun. No, not fun. Come on, go potty before we go so you don't have any accidents at the grocery store. I'm bike potty training. Potty training boring. Baby Kira, what are you doing? I want a snack. You just ate breakfast. Come on, go in and go potty. Now, the floor is going to be lava in 10, 9, No, that's the floor is lava. 8, 7, 6, 5. Hurry, baby Kira, before the floor turns into lava. I made it. The floor is not lava. I write up here just in case the lava comes back. Oh, great. I can get devoured by the lava. Perfect. Exactly. You're the mom, so that's what happens. In you go, baby Kira. Make sure you buckle up your seatbelt. I am ma. Uh, I gotta buckle my seatbelt. I gotta be a good girl. Oh, that would be so great, baby Kira. Now let's head to the store. Whoa, the roads are kind of slippery today. Say hi to Molly and Daisy. They're at school today. Hi, Molly and Daisy. I got at school. I go to grocery store. I have lots of snacks and stuff. Come on, baby Kira. Let's go inside. It's freezing out. I want to go inside. I like fresh air. Me too, but today might not be the day to get any. It's so cold outside. Okay, get in the cart. I'm black. I'm big girl. No, no. You don't get to have your own car. Oh, my God. Baby Kira, you just put me inside the car. Okay, good. You're finally in the car. <sighs> I'm not being bad, Mom. No, not at all, Baby Kira. Oh, my goodness. Hi, welcome to Brookhaven Mart. How are you doing today? We're good, thank you. We're just going to pick up some groceries. Oh, great. Someone with a kid. I bet their kid's going to be totally annoying. Oh, hey, Karen. Nice to see you. Sort of. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Nice to see you too, Laura. 
All right, we need some apples, some bananas. Ooh, the red apples look really good this week, too. I want Doritos! No, no Doritos. We're gonna try to eat healthy. Your dad definitely needs to. He's been eating far too many donuts lately. I want Doritos! Baby Kira, we're not having Doritos right now. I want those, I, I want those taco bars. No, no candy, honey. I want candy! Baby Kira, this is not like you. Why, why are you crying? I don't know. I just want candy. I want candy. I want the window. <laughs> Baby Kira, stop this. This is so embarrassing. I want it. I want it. I want it. Whoa, your kid is a total brat. Thanks for pointing that out, Karen. Oh, Baby Kira. Come on, mommy will pick you up. There, there, please stop this. It's really embarrassing. I want candy. Baby Kira, enough of this. Seriously, you're gonna get a time out. I know it's disappointing to can't ha you can't have treats when you want one, but not this week. <laughs> Maybe you really just need a nap. Oh my goodness, all right, I'm just gonna hurry up at the grocery store. Why don't you just leave the grocery store? Your kid is being so annoying. Karen, you obviously don't have children, but sometimes they have temper tantrums. Uh, what are you doing? Take me out of your cart. I'm going to take you out of here because you're so annoying. Uh, okay, now we're getting in a, in a cart jam. Get out of my way, Karen. St stop it. You're in my way. Hey, why am I sitting in your cart now? Oh my gosh, she is so annoying. Baby Kara, seriously, stop having a tantrum. Please, you're embarrassing me in front of Karen and, and everyone in the grocery store. I want what I want. I know you want what you want. Hurry up and get me checked out. I can't stand being around that kid's, that person's brat anymore. Hey, that brat you're talking about is my daughter and she's two years old. Two-year-olds have temper tantrums sometimes, Karen. Well, if I ever have kids, they're going to be perfect angels. I bet, Karen. I bet they'll take right after you. Um, okay, does your daughter want a lollipop? No, she's having a temper tantrum. She's not allowed to have a lollipop. I want a lollipop! <laughs> oh, I just need patience. Hi, please, give me patience. Baby Kira, that was very naughty behavior at the grocery store. What's gotten into you? Oh, I think you might just be tired. Come on, sweetheart. Let's take you upstairs and tuck you in and take a night-night. A one night-night. Well, you need a night-night really badly. I don't want a night-night. Oh, no, not another temper tantrum. Please, anything but that. Come on, look. You even have your big girl bed. You can sleep right here. Come on. It's going to be so nice to take a night-night. You really need it. I want one. Too bad. You need to take one. Oh, see you in hopefully two hours, baby Kira. Oh, my gosh. Today has been the longest day ever. I'm just going to kick back on the couch and just close my eyes for just a minute. I'm not even tired. I'm fine. I pick you. I don't need nap. I need to go outside and get some fresh air. Yeah, that's what I need fresh air. Shh. Tell my mommy. She needed a nap. Now it's a candy bar. Whoa, I must have fallen asleep. I really needed a nap after dealing with baby Kira all day. <sighs> I bet some cold air will wake me up. <sighs> baby Kira? Oh, watch it, my daughter's right there. Oh my God, baby Kira, you almost got hit by a car. What are you doing? I gotta get the fresh air and eat the um, wheezy cup. Baby Kira, you could have gotten killed and you're not supposed to be eating chocolate either. That's it. Time out. What? What? I, I. Do you want to be like your sister Molly, who's always in timeouts and detention? I don't know. The answer to that is no. Come on, time out for you. Hey, honey. Oh, I had the longest day. Honey, what? What's going on? Are, are you okay? Where's baby Kira? I'm 
look here. We got time out too. Oh no. She started having a temper tantrum, didn't she? I, I, I need a break. She's all yours for the next hour and a half. Seriously? I just got home. Uh, are we gonna have dinner? I don't know. I'll pick up McDonald's when I get back. Laura? Nope. Need a break. Have fun with baby Kira. Uh... Is someone actually talking to us, Kendra? Nah, it was just an annoying fly buzzing around. What? No, no, it was me. Excuse me, move. You don't tell the baddies to move. You wait till we're done. Oh, um, gee. Oh, okay, I'll just try to squeeze by you then. Oh, that loser touched me. Well, if you'd move out of the way, um, you guys might want to move out of the way, though, because when I open my locker door, it's totally going to hit you in the head. What? This girl is so annoying. Come on, Kendra. Let's go check out our hair in the bathroom mirror. Yeah, totally. Ugh. The baddies at my school are, well, super, super bad. Whoa, my new school. Hopefully everybody likes me. <laughs> Come on, locker, open! Ugh. Come on. Okay, there we go, finally. This locker's been broken since the day they assigned it to me. Oh, hi! Are you a new student? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I am, and I'm not really sure where my locker is. It's number 122. Oh, that locker's right next to mine. Hopefully yours actually opens. Seriously? Will I have a locker that isn't open? That happened at my old school and like literally it made me so scared and nervous every day that I wasn't going to be able to get my stuff out of it. Yeah, that's how I was at the beginning of the school year, but don't sweat it. I kind of know a trick to get it open. Watch this. Um, are you supposed to be beating up the locker? Trust me, these lockers are really old. They deserve it! <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> they just never work. They're, they're very naughty lockers. Open already! My name's Molly. Um, if you want, you can be friends with me. I could tell you who the baddies are in our school and who the bullies are and who the nice ones are and... Oh, thanks. You sound really nice, Molly. My name's Alex. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what's your first class? Um, according to my paper, it says math. Me too. This teacher's kind of a snore. But don't worry. I'll be sitting next to you, so I'll make you laugh. Thanks, Molly. Sounds like we're going to be really good friends. I was really nervous that people wouldn't like me here. Or they'd make fun of my braces or glasses or, or the fact that I like this shirt and stuff. Nah, look at my shirt. I've got a unicorn on it. Unicorns are awesome. <laughs> you really are funny. Come on, Alex. We don't want to be late. Yo, Cece. Who's that loser sitting by the other loser? Excuse me, um, my name is not Loser, it's Miss Loser. Turn around, your breath smells like a rotten egg. What? No, it doesn't. I used mouthwash this morning. Okay, well, your face is really annoying me. Um, uh, how can I have an annoying face? You just do. Sit down, Loser. Wow, the baddie club is, well, very mean. I noticed. I hope they don't see me and pick on me. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll bully you, but you get used to it. I know, right? That's what I said. I really like him. I hope he asks me to the dance. Okay, class, okay. Phone's away. Uh, you two in the back. You get rid of your coffee, you get rid of your cell phone, or you can meet me in detention. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you later. My teacher is so annoying. I heard that. Psst. Hey, you dork. Are they talking to me, Molly? Um, I'm afraid so, Alex. Yeah, you dork. Meet me at my locker at the end of this class. I want to see if you're baddie material. Sounds like they want to put you in their club. Wow, it's very elite. I know I can't be in it. Really? Wow, I get to be in the baddie club? That's amazing. Brittany.
Brittany, where were you? Sorry, Cece. I um was late for school because I overslept and uh, you weren't there in math class. And we have to see if this new girl is, well, <laughs> batty club material. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Is she really material or not? <laughs> Wait till you see her. <laughs> You're gonna have a blast with this one, Brittany. Uh-oh! I can't believe this girl is actually making us wait. What's her problem? Yeah, she doesn't make the baddie club wait. Who's that dork? That is the person we might be putting in the baddie club. <laughs> you are hilarious, Kendra and Cece. <laughs> this girl be a part of the baddie club? Hi, I'm Alex. I'm new here. <laughs> and I'm only going to have braces for like two years, so please don't tease me about them. I want to have perfect smile, and my dentist said I needed them, and I need these glasses, but at some point I'm going to get contacts, and I swear I'm much cooler than I look. I'm really nice. Uh-oh. Seriously, girls, this is almost too easy. Well, take it away then, Brittany. You are a loser. You could never be a baddie like us. Our club is very exclusive for the prettiest and baddest girls at Brookhaven High. What? Oh, I, I thought you wanted me to be in your club. <laughs> you could never be in our club. Loser. I'm sure I can fit just one more slice in. Mm. This school pizza, it's delicious. Wow. Uh-oh. Why did I try to put that extra piece of pizza in? Oh. <laughs> Gotta make it to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, Alex, are you okay out there? Let's see. Kind of embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> I know, my farts are kind of smelly, but um, you don't have to cry about it. You can just leave. No, it's that <laughs> the Batty Club didn't want me to be in their group. Huh, what? They, they said I was a loser. That's not very nice of them, but I guess I should have expected that. They're so rude. Don't listen to them, Alex. You're so nice. Don't listen to who? <gasps> Look at it, it's the new loser. Oh, she's so ugly and she's a loser. Hey, rude. You're a loser too, get out of here. Alex, don't listen to them. I'm a loser, I knew it. <sighs> I have to help my new friend. I just have to. Well, 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 you decided to come back another day to have the baddies tell you you're a loser again? Oh, I'm sure it is yesterday. Gross. Are you poor? Do you even have any money? I mean, how many outfits do you have? One. I just really like this shirt, so I got two of them for Christmas because I love them so much. Oh, this girl is such a loser, Kendra. <laughs> Not as big of a loser as I am. What? Who is that? Oh, look at their face. They're such a nerd, a dork, a loser. Molly, is that you? Who's Molly? <laughs> I'm Leonard. <laughs> um, well, Leonard, you are the ugliest dork I've ever seen. Molly, what are you doing? Trust me, I'm just taking the attention away from you. Go be yourself. Molly, thank you. No problem. Now, let me have your worst. I can take it. Loser, ugly, four eyes. Oh, you smell smelly. Oh, this is a hard job to have. Do you think you're the first bully I've ever come across? <laughs> I don't think so. I've been getting bullied since preschool, so nothing you say can bother me. I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. What are you in preschool? <laughs> really? Maybe. Smell this. Uh oh. Ew, gross, you little brat. <laughs> 
Really? You didn't have to do that for me. That's what friends are for, and honestly, they don't really bother me that much, Alex. They're just rude. And I think that they just, I don't know, think that they could feel better about themselves by being mean to other people. But it really just shows that they have really cold and cruel hearts. You never, ever want to be a part of the baddies club. They're just rude villains. Well, thank you for being such a good friend to me. I mean, seriously. I didn't know what to do when I had to come to a new school. I was really scared, and well, you've been a really good friend. Hey, no problem. I have another idea, too. What, eat pizza you pulled out of your pocket? Ew. <laughs> I'm saving that for later because it was so good at lunch today. Mm. Want some? Uh, no. I'm okay. I don't eat any pizza that was stuffed in your pocket all day. Ew. Yeah. A little bit of the cheese stuck to my leg, but you know, I don't care. Um, Molly, what are you doing? I'm texting, uh, Cece. What? What? She's a part of the baddie club. Uh, why are you texting her? Because <laughs> I'm pretending to be her crush, Lucas. <gasps> Molly. Hey, if she can be a baddie, so can't I. <laughs> Meet me here in 15 minutes. Perfect. Now, what I need you to do is go over there and hide behind that tree and Snapchat this. Really, Molly? Are you sure about this? <laughs> I've never been so sure about anything in my whole life. Ooh. I'm all ready to Snapchat, Molly. Great. <laughs> today at lunch, I heard Lucas and his friends say they were going to play basketball at the park today. <laughs> Perfect. Lucas, hi. You wanted to meet me and talk to me? Huh? What? Who, who are you? Oh, very funny. I'm the leader of the baddie club, Cece, duh. <laughs> you gonna ask me to dance? Huh? You don't have to be afraid. Uh, of course I'd go with you. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't want to go to the dance with you. I don't even know you. Uh-oh. There you are, Pookie Snooky Wookie Pookie. I, I was looking for you everywhere, honey. Who's this? <gasps> is this your boyfriend? <laughs> what? No, this is just some dork from school. I don't know them. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Cece. We've been dating for six months. Ah! <laughs> this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> I know, right? Come on, sweetie. Let's look cute for the camera. Oh, my God. I'm mortified. What just happened? I got it, Molly. I Snapchatted that. <laughs> Looks like she's not the only baddie in town. Oh, Molly, you can be the leader of the baddies if you really wanted to. Nah, I don't really need to be bad. But it sure felt good to give her a taste of her own medicine for a change. I'm glad she's not going to bully you anymore. Pretty sure she is going to be hiding in her bedroom for at least a month. Thanks, Molly, for sticking up for me. No problem, Alex. <laughs> ah, baddies Club? Look out. There's a new baddie in town now. Uh-oh!